Well, hello, Chedden School. Um, Reverend Mary here, and I wonder if you recognise I'm sitting in Chedden Fitzpain Parish Church. Um, I'm not sitting where I normally do in front of the altar, but in front of this amazing window here. Um, don't forget the church is open during the day uh, if you want to pop in and just have a little quiet look around and a quiet pray. Uh, it's really good to be invited to speak at your collective worship today um, and I want to talk to you about a character called Jacob and I want to talk to you about him because he's a good example of persistence, persistence, keeping on, keeping on. Jacob we hear about in the first book of the Bible in Genesis and he was a real scoundrel. He deceived his father and his uncle and particularly his brother all the way through his life. And in fact, uh, he deceived them so badly that he ended up running away from them because he thought they were out to get him. But eventually he tried, uh, he thought it was time to make amends, to come back and ask forgiveness, particularly to ask forgiveness of his brother Esau. Um, he didn't know how Esau would react because he hadn't seen him for years and years. Jacob is worried. He was about to meet Esau the next day. And then this happened. I'm going to read to you from the Bible, from the book of Genesis. Jacob stayed behind by himself and a man came and wrestled with him until daybreak. When the man saw that he couldn't get the best of Jacob as they wrestled, he deliberately threw Jacob's hip joint out, out his hip out of joint. The man said, "Let me go, it's daybreak." Jacob said, "I'm not letting you go till you bless me." The man said, "What's your name?" He answered, "Jacob." The man said, but no longer. Your name is no longer Jacob. From now on, it's Israel, which means God wrestler. You've wrestled with God and you've come through. J Jacob asked, what's your name? The man said, why do you want to know my name? And then right there and then he blessed him. Jacob named the place Peniel, which means God's face. Because he said, I saw God face to face and lived to tell the story. The sun came up as he left Peniel, limping because of his hip. Jacob looked up and saw Esau coming with his 400 men. And Jacob said to him, please, if you can find it in your heart to welcome me, accept these gifts. When I saw your face, it was the face of God smiling on me. Accept the gifts I have brought for you. God has been good to me and I have more than enough. Jacob urged the gifts that he had with him on Esau and Esau accepted. So an interesting story from the Bible. Jacob knew it was right to say sorry and to make up with his brother Esau, but he was really worried and he hadn't done it for such a long time. So he was struggling with, should I do it? Should I not? That wrestling match that we heard about from the Bible, was it a dream or did God really wrestle with him? We don't know. When we know that something's wrong, we often want to run away and not uh, face up to the consequences, don't we? This wasn't just about his brother. It was like he was wrestling with God himself, whether to do good or to carry on his life of being a scoundrel. He wrestled all night with that, wrestling with the thoughts, wrestling with God, so much so that he ended up walking with a limp afterwards. God spoke to him, telling him it was good that he had persisted that he kept hanging on. Jacob clung to God with all his strength. I'm not letting you go until you bless me, he said to God. And that went on all night. That's persistence for you. 
I wonder when you have to do something difficult, I wonder what those things are for you. Maybe it's schoolwork, maybe it's sitting still and doing what you're told. Maybe it's getting on with your brother or sister or your parents or somebody else. Are you tempted to give up and just give in to those bad thoughts? Or can you persist and keep on going to do the right thing? Christians believe God helps each of us when we struggle to do the right thing. And when we struggle with God in prayer, uh, when we struggle like that in our thoughts and in our dreams, we call that prayer. We ask God's help. We struggle with God and say, I really need to do this. Will you help me? That's prayer. And we ask God's blessing on us as we try and do the right thing, even though it might have bad consequences for us. We ask for God's blessing on us. Some of the words of the Lord's Prayer ask for help uh, and help to persist at that when we say, forgive us just as we forgive others. That's asking for God's strength to keep on uh, asking for forgiveness and forgiving other people. When we ask God to deliver us from the bad things, deliver us from evil, that's a struggle that goes on for ages sometimes. Even when we say, your kingdom come, your will be done, that's when we ask for God's help in doing the right thing. That's what God's kingdom is, doing what he asks us to do. That's persistence. Now, I'm quite old now and I've been persisting in prayer all of my life. I don't always get it right, but I know that God blesses me when I try my best and struggle to do the right thing. So we're going to pray now. Gracious God, I pray that all of us can be more persistent in trying to do the right thing that we can all be people who keep on, keeping on, even with the things we find difficult, but we know we have to do. Lord God, would you bless us in the times when we do keep trying. We pray for all those who struggle throughout the world, whether they're sick or they're hungry, whether they don't know what the right thing is to do. We pray for all of them as they make those choices. And as we pray for people around the world, uh, Lord God, would you help them? Would you help them struggle to do the right thing, to persist in doing the right thing? Let's do an Amen. Amen. And I'm going to pray a blessing now. Uh, so you be ready with your Amen in a minute. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and all those for whom you pray this day and always. Amen. I'm going to give some questions to your teachers for you to think about. Uh, but even before you get those questions, maybe you would like to just think about the things that you struggle with. You struggle with doing the right thing. Pray for, help you pray for persistence to carry on, keeping on, keeping on. Uh, and thinking about the people who have benefited from people's struggles. It's really good to be with you today. Um, you take care, each one of you. And I hope to be in school uh, very soon, as long as, uh, as soon as we're allowed uh, to come back in again. Uh, God bless you and keep you. Amen.